Uh, I was going to give you a demo, but I'm afraid as soon as I hooked it up to the Wi-Fi, it all collapsed. So you're going to have to take my word for the things that, that I'll tell you actually do work. Um, for me, um, the, the Raspberry Pi is special because not because of the GPIOs, because you can get GPIO from, as, as Brian was saying earlier, PIX and Arduinos and AVRs have already given us the ability to, to waggle a bit. So what Raspberry Pi makes special is the fact that you can combine what would have been 10 years ago PC level of computing ability with those GPIOs. There's no way to waggle a bit easily off a PC, but a Raspberry Pi gives you that, that facility in a, a small package. Um, that means you can combine it with packages that normally are too big for it, these embedded projects, the, the larger scale. The one that I, I'm going to talk about is, is called Asterisk. Um, Asterisk is a, a home um, <coughs> PBX. It's for telephony, if you haven't heard of it before. Um, you can get um, internet-enabled phones. You, you, you will have seen them everywhere on any, any corporate desktop you always see these big fancy panel phones with a Cisco screen on them and giant buttons. Um, that's a SIP phone, but you can also get little um, boxes that turn your normal analog phone into a SIP device. That puts your phones on the network as if they are other, uh, they're just um, pieces of equipment on your home network as, as, it, as your Raspberry Pi and your PC is. You then point them at, you can point them at an asterisk server and make phone calls between them. That's that's something that you can all, that that's not particularly about Raspberry Pi. I do that already on my home desktop to run my two. I turn my internet one internet line into two phone lines, so it's got two phone numbers. What Raspberry Pi lets you do, and this, this is what I was going to show you but can't now, um, is because it's it's powerful enough to run Asterisk. There's not actually a lot of signal processing needed for um, doing telephony work because the phones take care of that um, or an endpoint. So what I've done, what I did was, was put asterisk on this um, and a little bit of configuration and wrote a small C program that lets you call GPIO things from the asterisk dial plan. So you can, um, you can ring, I've got this configured so that it, it's got my my office credentials for the, my telephony provider on it. So as soon as you hook it up to the, the internet, it connects in, and then if, had, if I had the internet, we could ring it with a mobile phone, any, any phone you like, that my office phone number, and this would have answered from here. It picks up the phone, and it runs a demo menu. One of those lets you toggle, a G, in, the, in the Raspberry Pi dial plan, you can say, toggle a GPIO pin using this small C program I wrote. Um, so what, it's, what we eventually got, because of Raspberry Pi, you couldn't do this with a PC, is a way of, of using the phone system as an interface. So for example, the, the thing that I'm, I'm eventually planning to do with this is turn it into a door entry system. So you hook it. Uh, at the moment, you, if someone comes up to your, your block of flats, presses your doorbell, it rings up. A, a extra phone they have to have in their building. You know, it's, it, the, you, you've, you all have seen them. There's, a sep there's your normal phone for your home phone line, and there's a phone for the intercom. And it's usually some old 20-year-old thing with a, a button on it to open. Well, imagine now that it's a Raspberry Pi in the door entry box downstairs, and it makes a phone call wherever you like in the world. It could be to your mobile phone. It could be to your home phone system. It could ring all of them at once. When it's rung you, you press a, you, you say, oh yes, I like you. You press a one or two, whatever you've pre-decided, and it opens, it pulls the, I mean, I was using an LED to demo it, but it just fires in a relay to pull the door lock. That's just, that's just one example. You've got the whole, everything that's available on a Raspberry Pi is then available over your phone system. You could do I squared C, Carl was doing temperature sensors over Android. You could get it to read you your temp, the temperature of something over the phone. So the Raspberry Pi, I, I'd, I'd like to get away from this idea of using it in, in places where we always used embedded things. There's a, this is a piece, I mean, effectively, if you travel back to 1995 and gave someone that, that was as powerful as their home desktop. And it's now in our hands. You know, you can put that in anything. Um, 
uh, and there's already a wealth of software out there and it just takes tiny little interfaces to connect the big PC level software to tiny um, GPIO standard embedded work. The serial port, what Brian was talking about connecting to a serial port, the fact that it's got a, a serial port means you can do anything with this. But on large scale, web servers and tele telephony, that's what I'd like to start to see more than just um, things that you could do with an AVR or a, a PIC. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have you looked at doing voice control? <coughs> Uh, I, haven't. I, haven't. I know there's people who have started interfacing with, um, you know, on your mobile phone you've got um, Google and Siri, the Google Now and yeah. Siri. Well, that's all done offline. It's not done on the phone itself. It just gathers a little bit of the sample data and sends it off. Some people have started implementing that engine on the Raspberry Pi, so you could you could very easily. Link that, that into your phone system. That engine, because uh, a URL you can call to upload uh, Sorry, the sound file. Say again. There's a URL you can call to upload the sound file to Google. Right. And it returns um, the text and a confidence, yeah. which is how confident this is the correct sentence. Uh, well, then you can do more sensible things with it. And well, uh, with the talk, you can talk to it. Yes. I mean, that, that, that's exactly the sort of thing I'm talking about. Be that into the Google Android library as well. Yeah. So you can do it offline rather than online. But the yeah, the the, the, the a Pi isn't isn't really. I don't think it's quite powerful enough to do actual voice recognition. You you might get away with it. I mean, years ago they were doing it on desktops, so there's there is scope. Yeah. Okay.